could have given him Michael, but he was a bit jittery about needles. Mm, well, you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. But like us, Bill, we still feel it, don't you? We're a great team in ED, but we're really short on doctors right now. I heard we were full up. Yeah, well, I might have to do some creative packaging. With what? Supplies? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you laugh like that in a while. Harper. But we're not doing this. Sorry. I know. Not the right time or place. You guys need a hand in here? Um, no. Uh, I think we're all good. Thank you, Sage. Oh, cool. God. Why is sex such a problem? Is it? You know, you just gotta go for it. You just can't ever think it. I don't follow. Mon and Naz, have you seen the way they look at each other? The longing, like, why can't they just date already? It shouldn't be that hard when you're that gorgeous. Maybe it's more complicated than you know. It's not complicated, it's simple, okay? I just feel like coming into a room, banging their heads together and being like, life is short, get it on. <laughs> Where do you want me? Uh, nasogastric tube for cubicle two, please. Sage, could you set that up before you go? Sure. What happened again? What happened? I didn't see anything. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm. It's just one of those things. No, we need boundaries. Look, I've realised that I need to tell Drew about us. I can't keep lying to him. We almost got spring yesterday. It's, it's only a matter of time. Yesterday was stupid. We, we can be more careful. My marriage won't survive Drew finding out like that. I need to tell him myself. Go home. Can you just give me a minute? No, I told you. If you tell Drew, then we're done. I couldn't tell him. You said it was something that you had to do. I know what I said. I don't know, maybe I just can't let this go. Can't let you go. Can I come in? Esther is moving you upstairs because you're talented. Yeah, I know I am. So what is the issue? The issue is I don't like being passed around. I didn't choose it, you did. Phil, you got a promotion. Anyone else would be thrilled. <sighs> yeah, people keep telling me that. So why are you moaning? Because you sent me straight into the arms of your husband. Yeah. You can't even admit you're wrong. I didn't know you were such a control freak, but hey, good to know. You two, I just need to have a quick chat to Phil. So could you go and buy something? Lovely kids. You're different with them. I just mean that you a lot of things to a lot of people. Look, I'm sorry. Which part? Interfering with your career. Mm. So you're gonna go tell Esther you made a big mistake? I still think it's a good move for you. You're the boss. Hey, don't start that. I'm not, but it's true. You're part of management, so I go where you tell me to. So you're not angry anymore? No. Okay, so what's wrong then? You don't know me. Papa, you don't want to know me because it's easier for you. Look, that is not true. It is, because if you did know me, you wouldn't have messed with my career because you're scared. But this has gotten bigger than I thought. So you got rid of me? Well, I was scared. Of what? Harper, you've always been in control of everything. Of losing my family. I would never take you away from your kids. Just that. Don't you think I've earned the right to have a bit more trust? I feel stuck between you and my family. That makes me feel great. No, hey. Let go. No. Someone might see. I don't care. I was scared of losing you. That's why I moved you. What? Be mad at me, say what you want. It's selfish, I know. You did it to protect us. Yeah. You could have just told me that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I don't want to lose you either. Are you able to take me outside for a bit? Give me a run around? Yeah, yeah, sure. No, because she has to talk to Phil again. What's with the attitude, champ? She's always talking to Phil. Good. That means better care for our patients. Isn't that right, Harper? Yes, that is right. Lots of talking. But she's always talking to Phil. That's not true. It is. And I don't like Phil. Morning. Yep, right behind you. Managing this very well. I don't need to be managed. I know that this isn't a normal way of dating someone. I never expected it to go smoothly. But good. Should we get out of here? Guess it means we've only got a limited time to 
do this? Well, stop it. What? Don't tell me you've run out of stamina already. If I get back into bed with you, I might never get out. I wouldn't mind. Well, that's tempting. We need to be more careful. Why do you do? Emmett's asking questions. What? Yeah, yeah, he knows you're a bit off. Whose fault is that? Stop it. We need to be more discreet. Excuse me, is this discreet cornering me for whispered discussions? No, I'm a hypocrite. Well, part of your charm. I don't want to go a day without you in it, so can we be alone somewhere? Up to you. I'm into it. Well, can we find a place? No more uncle room hookups. If you want it, own it. I want it. My place. Lunchtime. I will be here. Make time for me later. My family needs me. We should have a drink to celebrate. Maybe we should. But first... Hey! 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 So, I was wondering... Go for it. It's nothing major, but I just wanted to let you know if you wanted to hang out sometime. I'm up for it. People are jealous. This must be a first. You don't stop to think how it feels to be me having you flirt like that in front of me. If you think that's flirting, you're gonna die when I do turn it on. <laughs> well, I'm glad this is such a big joke to you. Well, it's all on until your family needs you. Look, let's just talk this out at my place. I thought you'd left the in the cargo already. Uh, my flight got delayed. What are you doing on the floor? Lost my passport. You don't need a passport for domestic travel. You're so right, and I always I always forget that. <laughs> um, what are you doing landlord stuff? Uh, yes, yeah, we're well, just checking out the um, shower head. head. Well, I haven't noticed anything wrong. Oh, I don't think it's anything major. Yeah, I didn't want to tell you because of everything going on with your uncle. And... What time's your flight? Uh, I've probably missed it. So. What? Well, it doesn't make sense with the times, and now by the time I get out there, it's just going to be it's going to be. I'll crazy. take you. What? Yeah, I'll take you. Grab yourself, put it in my car. I'll be there in a sec. Don't get jealous because I'm giving him attention. Oh, I'm very funny. You just expect me to sit around and wait for you to get a moment to get away from your husband to, to be with me. I have no control. I had no idea you feel like that. To be honest, neither did I. But that's what it feels like I'm doing—just waiting all the time just to get a moment to see you. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's just not ideal. No, it's not ideal. And look, I know it's unfair, but I'm really struggling to handle the thought of you dating someone else. It is unfair. But unless your marital status suddenly changes, I'm allowed to date whoever I want, and that includes Billy. Hey, Phil, it's honestly fine. You don't need to take me. Get in the car, Sage. We're going. Did you get up to anything last night? Oh, just the usual. You? Not much. Did you see Millie? What I'm trying. Ask again. Did you see Viliami last night? See, I don't know if I should tell you. Why not? It could be a need to know basis. There are other people around. Well, let's give them a show then. Don't do it. Okay, fine. I'll let you off the hook today. Thank you. Now that I'm stuck in surgical, you'll have to flirt with Chris Warner. <laughs> Can we make some time for each other later? Drive somewhere? Um, I don't know. Boy is having a hard time, which is fair enough, and Drew's taking the hit, so... We need a break from all of that. Just one hour. Catch you later, okay? Make 
exactly. I can see it's affecting you. Can you just forget it, Phil? Papa, no. My marriage is out of bounds. Billy, hi. Mr. Severe's back in ED. Scan still okay? Yep. Good. Hey, are you free for a catch-up later? Sure. Over a drink? Cool. Looking forward to it. Great. What are you playing at? What do you mean? Dragging Billy into this is just cruel. Why? Because you don't have feelings for him. You're just using him to get back at me. How do you know who I have feelings for? <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Really? Yeah, actually, you could be a bit more careful because Drew could see Drew. us. Drew. That's what this is really about, isn't it? God forbid I threaten your precious, shaky marriage. You know what? Maybe you should just go for it with Billy and then we can both move on. Move on? Is that what you want? Yeah. Right. Okay. Maybe I will have some fun with Billy. Good. Since I have your permission. Yeah, I know it's short, but... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, bye guys. Off for drinks. What, together? Yeah. Okay, well, have fun. Night. See ya. It's too soon for us to be doing this. It's not. Good, because it's been a long time coming for me. Oh, really? Don't act like you don't know. <laughs> yeah. And he is way off about me not knowing what he's going through. Way off. I'm a surgeon. I deal with death every day. Well, I guess it's not that interesting to you. Phil, what? Can we just talk, please? Oh, hey. You feeling okay this morning? Yeah. I'm actually feeling amazing. <laughs> oh, we just had a nice time last night. Oh, I was a little worried this one was going to wrap up early. Not a chance. There she is. Sleep is for the week. Exactly. It's way more important, I think. Things to do. Exactly. Well, that's <laughs> So fresh, so unjaded, so cute together. Keep that romance alive, kids. Yeah, honestly, you guys are great together. Okay, now you guys are just making it awkward. <laughs> what is your problem? You're being unprofessional? <gasps> Literally, what's it? Oh my God, what do you want me to do? You told me you're married and not to wait around for you, so I'm not, and now you're attacking me. Can you please calm down? No, how about there are two people in this thing? I'm not just some toy you can pick up when you're bored. Phil, seriously, leave me alone. This better be good, I'm busy. I'm sorry. Okay. You were right, I haven't been fair. I've been super weird and distant. Yeah, you have. I was jealous. Over Billy, and I know that I have no right to give you a hard time about dating anyone else, but I just... I don't know what to do because I care about you so much. Didn't seem like you cared yesterday. What are you talking about? You just let me go off on the date. You didn't even seem bothered. It kind of hurt my feelings. Of course I was bothered. You were? Yeah, I was at Molly's looking for you. I, I didn't put my phone in all night in case you text me back, but you didn't. I, I was a wreck. Sorry. But also kind of pleased. I deserve that. You know how I feel about you, don't you? Yeah. Me too. Great job this morning. With what? Trip surgery. Really? Yeah, he's a good dude. I've worked with him before. That's so not necessary, but so sweet. Thank you so much. Anyway, um, have you got time for a coffee? I've got to finish my notes. Could be ages. Yeah, yeah, no worries. We need to sort this, okay? But not at work. True. Tonight. Make time for me. You don't have to pretend around me. Something is wrong in your marriage. Okay, sorry, can we just forget I said anything? No, 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 we need to talk about it. What? Phil. You're having an affair. 
What are you talking about? I'm so sorry. I am not having an affair. You know this is ridiculous, right? I am. Um, I know what I saw. Drew, I know you. Been there, remember? Oh, what the hell? Nicole, Harper, you have to believe me. I have never and will never sleep with Phil. We're just co-workers. I believe you. It's only a matter of time before the truth comes out. We could still take control, tell the world ourselves, own it. What? No, dump it on Drew after this? No, that's not fair. Maybe we just need some distance then. Distance? You mean like not talking to each other? I don't want it, but it might help. I don't want that either. Yeah, well, I think we have to. For both of our sakes. That she's not involved or that she's been hurt, but she's okay. Mm. I should be dead. I should have, I should have died. If anything had happened to you, sweetheart. God, I love you so much. <sighs> like, I've got a clearer picture now of everything my life, me and Drew, my family. Just. I can't let that go. I can't let us destroy it. So that's it. I'm sorry, Phil, I really am. So, we're done, finished. I'm so sorry. What if I don't want that? <laughs>